You're watching Higher Things Video Shorts with me, Pastor Chris Hall. If you're looking for an easy way to support Higher Things, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Also hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss any Higher Things content. You can follow Higher Things on social media and our website over at www.higherthings.org. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, we ask that you remember us in your donations and prayers. There is not one sin that Jesus did not die for on the cross. I know it's bad grammar. I know I do double negatives all over the place, but the reality is on the cross, Jesus died for every single one of your sins. It's not like he died 2,000 years ago without knowing what he was getting into. On the cross, he knew you, you personally, from the moment of conception to the moment you breathe your last breath, he knew. Every mistake, every failure, every wish you had, wish I would have, he took all of them. And on the cross, paid the price so that you may be absolutely, 100%, unconditionally forgiven. St. Paul in Galatians says, Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us, for as it is written, Cursed is everyone who's hanged on a tree. What does this mean? It means the law, it, it accuses all of us. It reveals all of our sins. We may not know something about ourselves. And the law comes and says, this is you outside of Jesus. This is who you are. Even though Adam and Eve, originally righteous, they fell. They took the fruit. They believed the lie of the devil in the stead of, meaning in place of the truth of God. And now we all inherit sin and commit other sins. So the law says this is who you are. You can't save yourself. No matter how many good works you do, no matter how hard you try, we are always going to be sinful. We are always corrupted by sin. So what the law says is don't try to deny it. Don't come up with excuses. Just lay it out. Repent of it. Say, Jesus, I can't do this on my own. I can't save myself. That's what the law says. But the best part about this is the law's voice spoke to Jesus. On the cross, the law came and said, you, you who, even though you are the sinless son of God, you are Cain the murderer. You are Rahab the prostitute. You are David the adulterer, Peter the denier, Judas the betrayer, Thomas the doubter, Saul the persecutor. You, Jesus, are all of these things. And on the cross, the law saw Jesus as you. Every mistake, every failure, every sin there on Jesus. Jesus didn't open his mouth and say, no, it's not me. You've got it wrong. He said, yes, it is me. I am the one. All of these sins are now mine. I have claimed them as my own so that all may have forgiveness. All may have life. All may have eternal salvation because of this deed, this work. And it is finished. It is done. Nothing can be added to it. All that can happen now is people receive it. There is not one sin that Jesus did not die for on the cross for you. So what does this mean for you? It means you can rest assured that there's nothing. You, you can't come to Jesus with a sin and he says, no, I, I can't deal with that. You don't go to your pastor and confess the sin. You say, you know what? I'm sorry. It's on the list of things that aren't forgivable. That doesn't happen. Everything from A to Z, be at the time you took cookie from the cookie jar to those months of just rank unbelief to your moments of doubt, your anger moments, your lustful moments, all of them, everything, every lie, every lazy day, every moment you ignore the need of your neighbor, every time you don't listen to your mom and dad, 
every time you get angry at them, every time you get angry at your brother or sister, every time you get frustrated with people, Jesus says, it's forgiven because I died on the cross for you. So may this be your, your mantra, your theme, gets you through the day. There is not one sin that Jesus did not die for on the cross for you. You are forgiven. You are loved. And you are Jesus' forever. So be at peace, my dear brothers and sisters. And may the devil be silenced, the world be hushed, and the old Adam drowned anew, that you may hear only the voice of your Savior Jesus who says, I love you, I forgive you, and I claim you as my own forever. God bless you. See you next time.